Hello, you guys. Happy day to you. Hope you're having a great day today. Um, the sun is trying to come out. There's some clouds, but um, it's pretty, pretty darn beautiful out. Um, so today I want to talk about um, asking yourself when you're not getting through to that child, um, thinking about if your request makes sense. Okay. Uh, sometimes, you know, we got get stuck in this like, you need to do this right now and this has to be done this way and, and those type of things. And to the child's perspective or point of view, they're kind of just like, that doesn't make sense to me or that's not in my ability to do that thing. So I'll use um, my children, for example, because I like to use my kids, for example. So, um, hanging up the jackets, that's something that we struggle with in the house. Um, and as an adult, you're, you know, for us, it's just like, you know, you should be able to hang this jacket up, right? When you come into the door instead of throwing it on the floor, because every single day they come in off the bus and their jackets would just be on the floor. Um, and Matt's typically home for bus from bus time. So he's always just like, they don't hang their jackets up. And after reading kind of about this, I was like, well, think about it from their perspective. Like, can they actually reach the hangers, right? Um, and when we look at the hangers, no, they can't reach the hangers. Um, so we're going to then, now we're going to put hangers in that they can actually reach. So really looking it through their eyes and seeing if it makes sense um, for them in terms of their age and their ability to do something. We kind of get stuck in that like right now, you know, you have to do this right now. You know, you have to bathe right now. Well, how about giving that option of would you like to have a bath before your show or after your show, right? Um, could physical changes be done, like lowering the hooks or the shelves? If there's an, an ongoing issue in your home, you know, can physical changes be done for them to help support them? You know, if um, if the toothbrushes are left on the counter and you want them to be in the holder, how can that be shifted so that they can reach those holders? Or um, is there another place to put the holders for the toothbrushes? Um, if So there's moment most moments spent asking the child to do things um or am i am i allowing time to be together so sorry i just have my notes here right now um <laughs> i like jot down the notes of things i want to talk about um a lot of the time we get sent or we get caught up in these moments of you know do this do that do this you know all the time all day long um do this right now and la di da di da and our, ch our children, when they hear that constantly over and over and over again, it's like gets hit on that replay and then they're just not wanting to really listen to that anymore. Um, so allow time also to really just spend with your child one on one with them, you know, with that play time, that uh, that time to explore and bond with them. And they're going to uh, be more open to listening, I guess, and yeah. Anyways, so that is kind of my thing I wanted to chat with you guys quickly today is, you know, are you getting stuck on that right now? And think about it in their eyes and their perspective, um, if it's something that they can actually physically do or in their ability to do. Um, making beds, you know, that's another example. It's like, make your bed. Well, do they have the ability to make a bed, right? Are they in that age group that they can make that bed? Or um, with chore lists, you know, sometimes we get stuck on like chore lists with kids and we need to really consider their age and their ability and and if it's a task that they can actually complete. Anyways, so that is what I have for you guys today. I hope that you have the best day. See ya. <laughs>